MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game six of the National League Championship Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Dan, obviously, a lot of things still up in the air as we get ready for Game 6. It's been a tight series so far, which we kind of expected when we started. But now it's backs up against the wall time. The series has shifted locations, and now these guys need to win the final two games at home to win it. This crowd should certainly help, but they've still got a tough task at hand. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Clayton Kershaw is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. When you think about the Cy Young Award, he's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. The one two game time temperature tonight a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch into the windup here comes the two two pitch good eye to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here boy went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble had the count 0 and 2 started nipping at the corners and next thing you know this count stands at 3 and 2 hit the other way out toward right field Betts has a read on it one out that second, the first baseman number 44 Anthony Rizzo. He's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well-liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike that's and good. they call it a ball. The pitch ball. Yeah. Two out, nobody on. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Kershaw delivers a 2 2.
Grounded slowly to the left side. Scooped up. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Hendricks will do the pitching with a trip to the World Series on the table. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One one runs a bit inside for a ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The two two hit hard back up the middle. Baez has it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the former All Star shortstop, Corey Seeger. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seeger. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Max Muncy waits on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts him. Digging in, Max Muncy, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit sharply toward the right side. Hayward is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And with two away, look at our playoff tree here. And the winner of this series, of course, will battle the Minnesota Twins, who have already celebrated taking the American League pennant. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Back up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. One left for L.A., and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. Swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. So one away here with the bases empty. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Kershaw now on one and one. A swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's running as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. 
hit in the air to left field. Peterson has a read on it. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up the multi-gold lover Jason Hayward. All even now, two and two. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And it's fouled away. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Cubs are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Now batting, A.J. Pollock. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's just one for six. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2 1 home. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Batting pitch. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Another full count pitch home. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. At the plate now, Justin Turner. Hit to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We'll move to the third with no score. Now at the plate, Cameron Maven, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peterson has a read on it. One down. Digging in. Ian Happ. From the windup, the one one pitch. Hit out towards second. And a base hit. The first of the game for the Cubs. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. Stepping in now, Nico Horner. And that's taken up and in for ball two. Half the runner at first with one gun in the inning. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Set. Here's the 3 1. There's a high pop up. Muncie camps under it and he's got it for route number two. The batter. The third baseman. 
Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A curveball hit right back at him. And a toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. At the plate, Will Smith. He'll start things out against Kyle Hendricks as we get the inning underway. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. The pitch. Right side hit hard. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight and nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. In now, Gavin Lux takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away flat out locked him up with the change up right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count but clearly he wasn't looking for it so it's a backwards K for him. Standing in now Mookie Betts two and one now to Mookie. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The 2 2. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And the payoff pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to induce the double play. The only problem is, is he can't guarantee it's going to be hit right at one of his infielders. Tough luck. To the plate now, Corey Seager in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Tapped out in front of home. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Next up is Max Muncy. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Here with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the left-handed hitting power threat Anthony Rizzo starts out the inning. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. And 
and he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Here's Javier Baez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. Bellinger's got it. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard now single that, up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. Outside, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Out of the stretch, the three-two pitch home. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So runners at first and second here with one away. And Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. To one and two now. One, two. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll now see if he it. can feed off right that cave, wiggle out the right jam, there. and keep this game tied. So now to the plate, Jason Hayward. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Again, another foul ball. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Cubs strand a couple. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Digging in for his second at bat, Cody Bellinger. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. At the plate, A.J. Pollard. Swung on and missed. One and two now. 
Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he's really been good all game long until that one. He was definitely not trying to hit a guy when he's got two strikes on him. It just appeared that it got away from him. Riding into the box, Jock Peterson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. No runs, two hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. At the plate, Justin now Turner. He got on top of one and was a ground out Justin. victim last time. Here's the 1 1. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw, and he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game and that they just need to stick to the process. Thank you, Heidi. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ. He reached on a single in his first try. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he lays off again, ball three. Got to find a way to get back in his zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks. But certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two run homer. The 3 1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. A bare hand for one. Over to Muncie, and they double him up. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Coming to the plate now, Nico Horner. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. This is skied into short left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Okay, thank you, Heidi. One. He's in there for strike number two. Count one and two. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. That's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Turner is retired, and there's one away. Standing in, Will Smith. A base hit in his first trip. The 1-1 home. Hard hit ball to second. And there are two away now. Now that, Next five. for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive to left. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. And the inning kept alive now for Mookie Betts. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Here's Mookie Betts. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. running pitch outside the throw way late and he's in there easily in second so they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position yeah and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there Matt hey if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today we need to make something happen in a different way they only need a single to the outfield now to push a run across he's set the 3 2. Hard hit ball to short. And that is through into left field. The base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, it's been tough to score in this one so far through the fifth now inning, but that RBI base hit right there is a nice breakthrough. Yeah, it's been a great pitcher's duel up until this point. They've been executing on the bump without question, but that RBI knock right there might set the tone for the later innings. the plate now Corey Seager now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first well hit the other way and it's into the gap and the score is the runner from first it's a two nothing ball game and I can't blame the pitching coach for making that block. That's three consecutive two-out hits here, so he's going to remind this guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the talk does any good. Stepping in now, Max Muncy. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. 
Took a good cut that time. It comes up empty. Two and two. Seared down the first baseline. Lizzo is there. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. Five innings complete. L.A.'s on top. Two to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Things not looking very good so far in this one. But we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs. And this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hit hard up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. To the plate now, Anthony Rizzo fouled away. The runner at first with no outs here. back toward the mound this will be a tough turn however and he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shooter out digging in and looking for more Javier Baez he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat yeah and they take another single right here that third base coach is dying to wave his arms I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Runner at second here with one man out. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit down the line at first. Reined in. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Two outs here with the runner at third. Two and two. Here now the two two. It's laid off and the count runs full. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you gotta go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Full count now to Kyle Schwarber. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peterson has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. Dodgers out in front, two to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. A 1-1. 
Left side. Bryant is up with it. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Now to the plate is the Dodgers' designated hitter. A.J. Pollock comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. It's not that easy to make a good no, hitter no. look that bad, no, but that's what bad. happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in Neither on the inner bad. half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Into the box now, Jock Peterson. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. But they're on top two to nothing. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. The 2-1. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His now eyes that's lit that's up that's right that's there. That's this that's pitcher's that's lucky he's not getting that's another that's ball from the umpire. Into the box, Jason Hayward hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. to center field. Bellinger is there and he has it for the first down. The bat number 15. Designated hitter. Cameron Mayberry. Into the box now. Cameron Mabin. It was a walk in his last trip. Here now the 2-2. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Dodgers 2 and the Cubs nothing. Pedro Stroke gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 46, Pedro Stroke. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Justin Turner. One one. Gets a swinging strike. One and two. Still one and two. And now pitch on the way. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best up ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Will Smith. Grounded foul off to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander has begun to get loose. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next 3 2. Popped him up. Contreras will wait on it. And there's the second out of the inning. Ready now. Gavin Lux. One for two on his line so far in the game. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, that's out. You chased a bad ball up out of the zone, two and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And that'll do it in the inning as the catch is made in the coach's box. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. As they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Digging in once again, Ian Happ. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. One and two now. Here's the pitch. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. So now to the plate. Nico Horner. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. One out, nobody on. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Bellinger's under it. Two down. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Chris Bryant. He singled his last time up. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's running as far as it can go now. It's three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. 
Well, this is hit high and deep out to left. Peterson looks up, and that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left. As they cut the lead in half, it's two to one now. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. Now here's the Dodgers skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he leaves with the bases empty he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one run lead. Blake no, Trinan enters the ball game out of the now pen looking for the, the final out here in the top of number inning number eight. Blake, Blake. Stepping in now, Anthony Rizzo. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against a modern day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Count even at two and two. down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two Javier Baez would be next good battle count remains full the ground to the left side. Turner's got it. Throw on to Muncie gets him and with that they'll end the inning. Cubbies draw a bit closer on the strength of this solo home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Dodgers two and the Cubs one. Rowan Wick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, Mookie Betts. <laughs> On a line, that's a base hit. <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three or four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a home or a walk or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. At the plate now, Corey Seager hit hard on the ground towards second. There's one on to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one scores would play the eighth. And he fouls this one off. A 
another try at 2 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And it's fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Dodgers leave one. They still lead it two to one. Kenley Jansen comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the night. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. Set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Final line there for the Dodgers starting pitcher. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Hey, anytime you can get through seven innings, Matty V, that's really a good quality start. Into the eighth inning, wasn't able to get out of the eighth, but he's still in line for the win. Needs a little help from his guys in the bullpen now. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. So digging in now, Wilson Contreras. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, folks, that's what Kenley Jansen does. When he enters the game, the hopes of the other team, they usually just leave. Slams the door again right here. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And, fellas, the outing turned in by the man you see there certainly can't go unrecognized. Clayton Kershaw take a snapshot of that he's our tops player of the game yeah it was a real good performance as you'll see by his final line seven and two-thirds good innings and in today's game that's very solid Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Los Angeles Dodgers have evened up this series at three wins apiece. Clayton Kershaw is credited with the win. Kyle Hendricks pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.
Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, two runs, six hits, no errors as they left six men on base. For the Cubs, one run, five hits, no errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 41 minutes. Tonight, paid attending, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.